Welcome back to the Basement Yard. Today, very special guest, Davino makes his return finally. Hello, New York. To the Basement Yard. Well, you came in hot there. Sorry. What are you doing? You nervous? No. You're nervous. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's you got hard. you got one shoe on. You know you're having quite a day. I had surgery. On your foot. It hurts. What happened to your foot? So, um, I don't know how it. I'm sorry. I don't know how, how it accumulated, but um, water bumps on my ankle bone. Water bumps. Well, it was just fluid. So it started out with one. I was actually laying in bed. I remember it very clearly. I was laying in bed one day, and I look at my foot, and I'm like, oh, I ain't supposed to be there. Wait, you got you got bumps on your foot? They were they were fluid. They were cysts. Fluid cysts. Oh, cysts. Yeah, they were bumps. I oh. thought I thought they were like blisters. No. Yeah, water bumps just sounds like, you know, yeah. I have condensation. I have, yeah. I'll show you guys later what it looked like. But it started off with one, and I was like, all right, well, I can't feel my ankle bone because it was on top of it. So I was like, this isn't right. And I trailed my mom. She's like, go to the doctor. And then I waited too long. <laughs> what, what? Wait, wait, wait. They were water bumps. So when you touch it, did it feel like a, like, like a hard water balloon? It was soft. So it felt like water, like, yeah. like a water bed? Yeah. Water bumps. I've never heard of this. It, it like was a sacks. Sa yeah, they were sacks, sacks of oh, fluid. Sacks of, oh, oh, okay. Sacks. All right. Sacks of you fluid. You say bumps. Bumps, I, I think, like, you know, if you play too much fucking Nintendo, and remember you would get that blister on your oh, fucking right thing? here all the time. You remember it? Yeah. And right. you pop it, and all the fucking water oh, would come and, out? Uh, yep. No, it wasn't like that. We tried to pop it. Well, he tried, and it didn't work. He tried to f drain it. It didn't work. So he said, come back, and I had to cut you open. Like, so how, how often are you wearing this, this fucking boot? Since last Friday, so... You have to wear it 24-7? No, he said come back the 10th and we'll take out the stitches. Well, can you shower? Funny story. Um, I just started showering, actually. Wait, two, a how day long ago, did you go without? Two days ago. I had to sit on the toilet and bathe myself. Oh. Wait, like... <laughs> wait, hold yeah. on, what? You would just sit down and, like, just... Yeah, in my boxers. Like an old it's weird, woman? weird, you're naked. Like an old woman? And then I have to clean that area. Was yeah. the toilet seat up? Was it up? Like, no. Like, did you let like your stuff hang like between? No. I was wearing boxers, and when it was time to clean that store, I had to take them off and clean. Excuse it. me. Mm -hmm. Did you call your penis a store? <laughs> store made. <laughs> so you were using like a washcloth? Yeah, I had to. It sucked, man. Yeah, Yo, your balls never get that clean from like doing that type of. Dude, I scrub. You were I doing love, this one? Like, I, did you do the top? I do the, the top, and I do the sides, and I go under and back. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo. Cleaning that ace? You, you probably had a fucking pretty clean ass. Oh, 100%. But my back was like, I couldn't clean my back, and that's gross. I've I never had, cleaned my back. I have a thing, you know? I don't have that. I I literally just got cool. my first, uh, like, uh, shower power tool. I got a loofah. What's a power? Oh, I thought... It was no, like, it's a loofah. I thought it was going to move. Yeah, I, I, I owe that all to Danny, to be honest with you. Yeah, boy. But he said, are good. he said I need to get a loofah for my ass. Yeah, man. Because it gets all that fucking debris out of your ass. You, you, don't, you don't understand how much debris your ass carries oh, around. I, I understand now. Cotton. Uh, p toilet paper. You say cotton? Yeah, he's yeah, right. Yeah, from your boxers. Yeah, it's like when you're wearing black briefs or boxers and it's you like go to... Black, a, yeah. It's all black. I'll be honest with you, like the, the first, like, so I like, I lubed it up with soap, right? And the first like go, it was as if like, it would be like if, uh, like, dude. <laughs> it was rough. It was rough. It was like someone waxed the sidewalk. Yeah. And they, <laughs> they pulled it up and it was just a bunch of like dirt and just hair and like. I don't even want to imagine what your asshole looked like pre loofah Like you yeah. thought, you probably no, no, no. thought what you had color a clean asshole. It? But at that point you were toast. I'll be honest with you. No, I didn't. I did not think my shit was clean at all. What color loofah do you use? What color? Is yeah, it this white? is very true. You can't use a white loofah. Ugh. It's not white. Mine's Thank dark God. purple. Excellent. Excellent. Dark purple? Yeah. Because if if it does somehow have remnants of, of doo-doo caca, it doesn't show up like it would be on a white one. Wouldn't you want it to show up? No. No. Because you're scrubbing away, bro. Yeah, you're scrubbing. Yeah, but you want, to not, you want to know how to clean it. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When you use a towel, right? Yeah. Do you ever? Do you ever? Do you put the towel in your butt crack? Oh, I don't like jam it into my rim. No, you have to clean it. Though. You have to dry it. You have yeah, to, I got you have to dry it. Yeah, but at that point, it's clean. Have Dude, you ever I, got? I poop, have you ever got? Ass. Have you ever got poop on a towel? No. Yes, you have. Don't sit here and lie. You're though. not human. Poop on a towel? Yeah, when you're like clean. a streak. Not like a long. Streak. Not like a dark. You know, dark streak, like a little, little light brown. You're you like, guys, oh. you wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait. 
post shower. Yes. You guys have cleaned, Some- dried your aces. With a yeah. towel. Mm-hmm. This guy's a robot. And it looks like you just wiped your ass. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like you it's, just wiped your ass. It's the smallest yeah. amount of shit possible. Very light brown. It's just what's ever sitting on the cusp of your aim. Yeah. But, like, you don't sometimes... <laughs> you don't you don't sometimes take a shit, then shower. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you shit before you shower... <laughs> if you shit before you shower... The outside, the exterior is is prestigious. But if you, if you rub it with a towel, a little bit of... Pupukaka is gonna be on there. Very light. Yo, you know what? I swear to God, I've done this. You ever, you ever took a shower and then took a shit afterwards? Like, no, I gotta take a shower. Yes. Or, or yeah. even, I'll, I'll take a shower and then I'll, I'll walk out of the shower and I'll be like brushing my teeth or doing whatever, and then I'll fart. I'd be like, I gotta get back in there. I've, <laughs> I've, I've stopped mid shower to take a shit and then get back in the shower. Dude, isn't taking a shit while you're soaking wet so... Oh, it's the most uncomfortable yeah. feeling ever, yeah. dude. I, I remember I'm like, yo, what is this? We were talking about it. Like, taking a shit at the pool as a, as a kid... Sucked. It was terrible. You're sliding all over that First fucking all, bowl. And your dick's mad little, too. You can mad be peeing little, everywhere. Peeing all over the place. You got that lining in there. Do you remember the day that your dick became big enough that it would just point down... And you're like, now I don't have to worry about pissing all over my knees. I mean, I don't remember the day, but I do remember the progress. And it was it was it was enlightening to know that my penis was gonna grow. Yeah. The thing that weirds me out is are big dicks genetic? Yeah. Like if your father has a monster cock, right? Yeah. Are you gonna get a monster cock? I don't know. Doesn't it all depend on too if you get circumcised? Like that like Nope. Probably not. Mm, well There goes that idea. <laughs> Like you know how you you know how they say like you get your hair from like your mom's father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where like if get, he's bald, where, then you got some trouble. Yeah. Where do you get your dick? <laughs> is, <laughs> who in my family tree? Like, is, it, for, is it your mom's dad too? Yeah. Or I gotta, it, I gotta go. If back. It's my mom's dad. It's your like brother-in-law's yeah. like uncle. Yeah. If it's my I mom's dad, dick. we're not on speaking terms. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Yeah, it's great. You know what I mean? You gotta really think about it. A dick size has to be somewhat hereditary. Because your body has to tell your penis to grow, just like it tells everything else to grow. Yeah. But wait, it's a muscle, your your dick. It's not... It can't be. Right? Yeah, but I it's can't... A mu- there's yeah. no bone in there. Well, yeah, but, but I, you can't I go actually- to the gym and, like, you know, I'm not... It's not growing. No, that's right. You I don't know? know, man. Imagine you could. I really wonder what the genetic makeup of a cock is. I think that was just slapped on at the end of creation. It was like, yo, you get what you get, kid. Is it maybe it is just luck of the draw? Yeah. It has it has to be. It has or, no, to, you I, have to have like some nah. kind of weird genome malfun- uh, mutation. It might be just like your environment, because when you think no, about, no, not your environment, but like <laughs> where, like <laughs> like if your mom smokes while you're pregnant. No, so. well, yeah, well, yeah. You I might. grew up in a hard life, so obviously my dick is huge. No, I'm saying, but like, <laughs> if you look at it across the board, you know, obviously there's exceptions to this, but. You know, the smallest penises come from. Okay, I see where you're going. Asian countries. I hear you. I and hear that's you. not me making that up. No, because I've looked it up. Yeah, and really, dude, people from the Congo, like, their their floor is like six and a half inches. Man, dingoes. Like, and it's like dicks. their floor. Wait, the floor here is like like the floor like like the smallest dick they would have yeah, is a like six they and a half. Squat like. when they walk is that what you're saying? What do you mean? What the fuck are you talking? What about? do you mean their floor? Like that's like their the lowest the, the, lowest the smallest that dick it could in the Congo be. is six and a half inches Holy on average shit. on average. So that means yeah. like an eight inch dick in the Congo is like whatever. Yeah. So basically, it's like pick. Do you want a big dick or do you want to live in the Congo? Like do you want to live in. Good environment. Like, yeah, it's true. Or just you know, be from the yeah. Congo. I'll be honest with you. I would, Move to America. If that was a possibility, I'd think about it. <laughs> I'd, for for a quick second. Yeah. Like, imagine your dick was so big that you had to pick it up to, like, clean underneath it. Like, I don't have to pick my dick up to A lot of infections, huh? Yeah. What? Who knows? What? what? Like, uh, you uh, imagine, because, uh, like, it's so big, it might get dirty yeah. quick. And you don't, if you don't wash your dick every day, which I hope to God you do. But yeah. <laughs> might, might pick up some debris. You know, oh, so you gotta, to God. <laughs> oh, to God that you wash your dick every day. Dick's my main focus when I get in the shower. It's yeah. like my first one. I'm knocking off the list. See, mine's my butthole. Because I know my butthole sucks. Well, I would go <laughs> I would go for the dick first and then the butthole. Because then what do you wash your ass and then wipe your dick? No, 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 no. Because here's why. <laughs> Guys. It was so serious. It's true. Because I know my buttholes. It's my gooch and my asshole. It's the two stinkiest things on you. 
Yeah. Like, I want to attack that first, and then all the other soap that gets in there is just a plus. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would love to just, to just, uh, like a shower to be like, you ever wash dishes at a restaurant, like work in the back in the kitchen? Yes. They literally yes. just have a sink filled with soap, and they just like dip it in and wash it off, and you're done in a sec. It's dirty soap. Dirty soap. What the fuck is this noise I'm hearing? It's got to be this. Or your cell phone, maybe? I don't no, know. It's what? not going off. All right, move your phone. Oh, there yeah, you go. It is. it is your phone. Yeah. Move your phone, you fucking ass. <laughs> I'm trying to run a show here. <laughs> Um, Sorry, he's new. He's new. Oh. He doesn't know what's going on. To be honest, he hasn't been back in a while. It's a, it's a, it's it, the foot. It's I think it's foot. been like a year, right? Maybe no. It's been a while. Eight months. It's been a while. No, I'm alive. It's been a long time. How'd you guys meet? Me and Joe. Yeah, we've known each other since we were young. Oh, children, young ones. Yeah, I'm still kind of hearing some interference. Can uh, we throw those phones no, because, down the hallway? Because he just put the phone next to <laughs> my fucking microphone. That's why. Um, what are you fucking working for the fucking federal government? They're what? tapping into the yeah, man, and they're hearing about Danny's asshole. Yeah, that's a good conspiracy. Being a nightmare. <sighs> I'm excited though. I'll be honest. I've been walking around today like you know, I know my asshole is as clean as possible. Don't don't you feel cleaner? I feel great. I feel I feel like a different person. Like what? I'm I'm evolving. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because I'm finally really really watching that thing. Um, you, you know guys, what I mean? You guys want to hear something gross? Yeah. I had a loofah, and it was the axe one. Remember the axe came out with one? With one side was really hard, and the other side was really soft. Yep. I had one. Why was it hard? Were you filing your nails you in there? scrub. Like it, your, it, was like, it was like a, yeah. a hard scrubber. Dude, oh. I had the same one for like, for like a year or two years. Was it for your ass strictly? I mean, I, I figured, no, my body. But once like I was like, listen, if I'm just going to keep washing and like, the soap will get on it. It'll just clean stuff. My cousin came over when my cousin Julie moved in. And she was like, yo, get rid of this shit now. She goes, two years. She goes, how long have you had your toothbrush for? You know? And I'm like, it's like that. You have to change it like every month. She goes, it has germs on it. It's disgusting. It's dirt. I was like, damn, two years I've been using that thing. How often do you change your toothbrush? Pretty often. I do yeah. it like four or five months. Well, you have Quip. Though. I have Quip. It's yeah. like every like three four, months. Four or five times a month? No, no, no. I would say like every no. four months. Oh, uh, Five months? Uh, like three months. Like if, if like if mine, But if I go if on vacation, like, it, yeah, I throw it out. Yeah. I'll buy a new one. Yeah. I'll buy a new one. That's for sure. What kind of toothbrush do you use? I use a regular Orbit. What's it called? It's called Quip. They're like a sponsor of the show. But like... They send you like cool heads and shit. Now I'm doing a free spot for Quip. That's yeah, all right. God no, no. We'll move it. on. How's that beer? <laughs> How's that beer doing? Oh, now we're talking about this brand. Oh, okay. I'm not one of those people. Though. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but it's like they send you like in the mail like every three months. They give you like a new one. So it's basically it's a, it's an electric toothbrush. Oh, I want to check it so out. So it's kind of like having like a new toothbrush like all the time. That's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Because awesome. yeah, otherwise you'd go and you buy like let me get fourteen fucking toothbrush at a time. My mom does that, dude. Dude, that mom's, aisle. Moms always have extra toothbrushes the whole time. Yeah, I yeah. Whenever I go to my mom's house, do you have an extra toothbrush? She's like, yeah, I got it. Got it's it. like, mom, why'd you buy a pack of twenty? Two people live in this house. Yeah. Just in case. Are you brushing the dogs? Coming and going. Mm-hmm. It just makes no fucking sense. Every, when I went to Italy, every pl- every new city that I went to, I got a new toothbrush. That's excessive. Well, I didn't want to travel like with it. He's Why? right. Put it in like a Ziploc. Yo, it's a toothbrush. Just get a new one. It's just gross. I, I don't How know. How long you've had your fucking loofah? Don't lie either. This one? Six months, seven months. Damn. Yeah. It's got a lot of poop. No, on. no, but... A loofah, so if, if a, loofah, a, a loofah is gonna wear out on you. It'll rip. Like it'll, yeah. it, it'll, it'll. I'm gonna get some stuff in my ass. Yeah, it's gonna break down. It's gonna break down. The the webbing and the caging will fuck. He's right. You're new to the loofah game. I, I expect you to ask these questions, dude. I just use a washcloth. Yeah. Is soap ever dirty? Hmm. I don't think so. I think so. Yeah. See, you drop th- it on the floor. I'll be honest though. The thing that I have you can in there, get germs from soap. I don't know. Like if, all right. So, this know. is like, is water wet thing? I, yeah, but somebody proved that, I think, recently, that water is wet. It is? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, some, some like, professor proved that, actually. But um, it's wet. It's wet. That's like asking, is fire hot? No, 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 no. Mm. Comparing a loofah to fire. It's an oxymoron. It's, yeah, it's an oxymoron. I don't know if that's correct either. I don't think it is either. Nope. No. But this here. podcast just got a <laughs> lot dumber <and laughs> very quickly. I'm saying, if you rub soap and dirt and then put it on your body, it's just going to clean the dirt off. 
I'm talking about actual germs. Like, say I had, per se, the flu. crabs. Crabs. And Those I use crabs, soap. Crabs aren't a germ. Yeah, that's true. They're actual live things. Can you get herpes from sharing soap? Yo, that, that's a really good question. I don't know. What is soap made out of? Isn't it like whale bones and fat? <laughs> I, what? A part of me. Am I wrong? <laughs> is it whale blubber? That sounds like a Fight Club reference. Sorry. Oh, hold on. What is soap Wait, made out I, of? I want to know what you just said. Whale bones. <laughs> yeah. And I know it's made out of bones. I'm not. It has to be. I, I want to be on your side on this, but I can't commit. Wait till he looks it up. And you'll see. <laughs> It's soaps are made from fats and oils that react with lye. Son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, but it could be a, a whale fat. Solid fats like coconut oil, palm oil, yeah. uh, lard. Told you. You said whale bones. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close. I thought it was made out of bones. You thought it was made out of bones? Yeah, I, I did. That'd be really hard. Yeah, but a bone wouldn't go away. Like uh, sooner or later, like soap disappears. I don't know, Danny. Like. A, <laughs> Whale, <laughs> whale bones. Rub this soap make, down to the bone. What do whale bones make? Just type in whale bone soap. You know how much soap they could have made out of Moby Dick? Oh my god. Did you ever read Moby Dick? No, I seen movies. The one with Chris Hemsworth was really good. I met him when he was in that stage of uh skinny. You met him? Yeah. Real cool guy. Guess he him? was very skinny. Where'd I, you meet him? Um outside the park Hyatt. Dylan used to work there and I was working in that building doing electrical. And he goes, yo, come outside. Your boy's here. And I walked outside and phew, seven feet tall of God. Mm. Wait, what? He's mm-hmm. seven foot tall? Like six, three. That's close enough, I guess. I got Fox. By the mm. way, I, I just want to say, and I'm sorry, I farted again. And I know it's like, it's been a long day of me doing that. C- can I just tell you guys, Joe's been farting for the last six hours. I have no excuse for my actions. When and I, it's paint peeler. It's when, paint peeler farts. Yeah. When I was, it's w- disgusting. When I was watching that video, it was 36 minutes long. He farted for straight 36 minutes. Yeah. I and didn't fart for th- That's just minutes. 36 minutes. No. I, I I mean... And they were audibly loud. Yeah. They're, there's something wrong with me. Yeah. I think. I think it's the buffalo thin pretzels. That could be it. That's, I think that's, that's making me react. Yeah. Because I, I had a good amount of those. You crushed those. They're you delicious. crushed them too. I, I'm not saying I didn't, but I'm not saying. farting over here. Well, we have different stomachs. That's I had true. a couple. You had a couple? You farting? You tired? We boring you? No. You fuck it. I hate when people do that. I'm so sorry. Yawn on the show? No, when people yawn and then someone goes, am I boring you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, no, I'm just fucking tired, you piece of shit. I'm not tired. I'm sorry. How, how are you sleeping with that thing? Dude, the first two days were like at least two hours a, di- a, di- a, a night. That was it. Damn, Wait, it was that bad? Because I would wake up pain? in pain. Yeah, and I'm like, shit, like the Percocet. Why does it hurt? Is there just like a hole in your leg? I have 12 stitches in my foot. Yeah. On the bottom of your foot? No, on the top. You know the I don't want to lift my leg up. You know the top right here? Okay. And right here. Oh, yeah. But this is sensitive. All right, you can go. Yeah, no, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah, that would hurt. How's your hamstring? I feel fine. Oh, I thought it was like screaming at you. I've been do. I've done yoga every day this year so far. Yo, you definitely become flexible doing yoga. I'm telling you. Oh, it's DDP yoga, actually. What is it? Have you? Yeah. Diamond Dallas Page. Yes. Yeah. He has a, he has a yoga program. Supposedly, uh, it works very well. I stole it on the internet. But, um... um it's uh, it's actually pretty good. That's you start, right. you start off beginner, which what I'm doing now. Yeah. There's a, a thing called the Diamond Dozen, so he has a dozen moves, but it's actually 13 moves. Baker's dozen. Baker's dozen. Mm-hmm. So that's what you start off with, and then you do little other kind of workouts. So I'll I'll do one when I go home tonight. You could just go to Dipmars and they have a class there. Just saying. I could do that, but I'm a, I'm a little nervous to do yoga in front of other people. Mm. It's fucking hard. Yeah, like I don't want people to be like, Psh. like fucking doing fucking Warrior Three and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I can't do Warrior One. Like I'll be upset. I can do Warrior One. Yeah, Warrior I probably one. can't. To be honest with you, Yo, the triangles that, mad hard. I don't like, know what that is. Like, that, that shit's all where you put your leg up and then. What no, is no, that? No, that's a tree. I don't know. That's a tree. That's a tree. But there's one where you have to like put your arm flat and like open your body up. It's mad hard. Oh yeah, I used to do those. Yeah, but yeah. It, it, it's it, it's good so far. It keeps your heart rate up. Dude, my fucking groin is like hanging on by a thread when I do yoga. Welcome to my life. What does that mean? My groin is terrible, bro. (laughs) Yo. This kid's asshole is the worst. Your groin is the worst. It's it's bad. Like, oof. 
Just from like horsing around or I don't know, man. I never got looked at. Like I just I know when I stretch a certain way, ooh, don't stretch that way. Yeah. I have a hernia. Hmm. <laughs> what is going on right now? Torn ACL, hernia, bad groin, stinky butts. We're all we're all this we're, is but a we're fucking, doing okay. We're a bad group. We're a bad group. We're a disgusting group. Together, this it is hurts. not a good group. Just being gross. Just disgusting. I have That's a bad right. foot. How do you clean it? I don't. You haven't cleaned well, your I foot. Well, I clean the exposed part, like the front of it. He said, do not wet your foot. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> so when you, said, sho- yes, sir. when you shower, do you take baths now? No, I just, I stand up in the shower and I put my foot on the, on the thing, you know, on the <laughs> toilet and I close the curtain and I shower. So you're putting your foot onto the toilet. And I close the curtain and it's, it's weird because I wash. Well, you just hang your leg outside yeah. of the shower and just. Put some music on. Do you shower with music? Yeah. I, I shower I shower with music. You sing? In the that's shower. A, that's yeah. a dumb question. You yeah. sing 24 7. That's yeah. Annoying. I'm singing in the shower for yeah. sure. For I've sure. been listening to the same three songs in the shower for the past two months. Rattle them off. Yeah. Um, YouTuber songs? No. One's uh, Chainsmokers, Kelsey Ballerini, their new song. I haven't heard that one yet. I don't even no. know the name. Well, and then it the seems other, like it affected you in a very serious way. The other two are um, <laughs> Keith Urban. Keith Urban in the shower? Big Keith Urban fan. Why? I like it. Wasted time and parallel lines. Keith Urban. Parallel lines. Married to Nicole Kidman, right? Very much. Right? Has better hair than her. When Who? Do you guys remember when she won that award? And, and that, she kissed... And she kissed another guy on the lips? Yes. Right in front of him? Right in front of him. If that happens, we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a long talk. I don't know that. I don't care about... She won the award. Yeah. Everyone stood up, and he's like... She turns around, kisses a man on the face, on the lips. Her co-star. Yeah, but she's also, um, you know, like she's from Australia. What does that mean? You can just go smooching other people that aren't your fucking husband did, when you win an award? Did they ever interview him about it? I don't know. I know a lot of people talked about it. Maybe it's he's into like cuckold thing. and he's, he like likes to watch her fuck. Thing. Or there's swingers. Or that. Something with watching fucking. Will Smith and them just addressed that mm-hmm. too. They're swingers too, no? No, they said they weren't. Swingers? Wow. They, but they, they addressed the rumor. They were oh, because like, people were like, no, the only rumor I heard about Will Smith and Jada Smith was that uh, that they had like one day a year where they were allowed to fuck anybody. Andre Kirilenko has that. Does he? Yeah. One day a year, he's allowed to fuck another girl and his wife. He's a basketball player yeah. for the people that don't know. Uh, he breaks that rule. Let's just yeah, get that yeah, out yeah. of the way, by the way. Let me t- just to stay on that. Do you think a sexual agreement like that is good for a relationship or bad for a relationship? What, that you could fuck one person? I think it's good because then you won't, there's no cheating. You just look forward to that one day out of the year. Get it out of your system and then you're fine. But yeah, could, but yeah, but like could you go home also... to that knowing like this is the day like somebody thrashed your girl? Well, after, well that's, like... not, that's not the problem I think you would run into. I think you'd run into the problem of being like, God, that was awesome. Like, and Can I wait a whole year to the next time that happens? Oh. Yeah, but not. Let's just say you play by the rules. If I'm playing by the rules, then I can't complain about the rules either. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. But but do you think that that could, you could potentially have a healthy relationship with a with a one a once a year hall pass? I, I I think so. I don't think it'll work. I have a good argument for this because imagine she, your significant other, or. She, okay, and she goes and <laughs> she goes and she fucks another guy, yeah. and she comes back and goes, "Damn, you can't do that for me." Okay, and then relationship down the hill because you're not pleasuring her to her. Yeah, but who cares? Would you? Would you want to? You say that, but what if that's not how other people feel? Well, no, because if it's like if that's the only thing that was holding this together, then what does oh, it even right. mean? Then love the, is in this fiction. Yeah, Damn, like what dude, is it? That was deep as fuck. No, yeah. because if you go out and you get fucked by somebody, and yeah. then you come back and you're like, "Damn, that dick was fire," so I'm out. Like, all right, like this wasn't completely based on the performance of my ween. Yeah, it was and just, if you thought so, it's just about sex now. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sex is a big factor. Though. I don't think anyone should have a problem with people like leaving them. Like, if someone doesn't want to be with you, like... Yeah. You know? I, I agree. But, <laughs> but to answer your question, I, I feel like um, 
I feel like it's definitely possible. I mean, people have like more than a hall pass and it works out for them. Like people are polyamorous where they could, they're literally in love with, they have relationships with mm-hmm. multiple but do, people. But do you find that as weird? Wow. Do, do you, do you see that lifestyle as strange to you? I don't anymore because I've been more educated on it because of the podcast that I do other people's lives. Cheap plug. We've interviewed, yeah, we've interviewed people who are polyamorous, people in open really, uh, marriages and stuff like that i also know a woman who her and her husband have this thing that when they go out separately they can make out with other people but that's it they're married yes happily that doesn't that doesn't do anything for me that doesn't that does yeah yeah it's a little bit of fun for you to do yeah but it's, it's, it's not a little, like it's, it's a cheap thrill it's a cheap thrill yeah to me what I, do you think I mean, like, what do you? So I'm gonna go out tonight, and you know, I might make out with somebody. No, like, no, that, no, no. Do you think that, um, like, cool. do you believe like open relationships, like married, like? Oh, um, would you look at that as weird? Like, if you had a really close friend who was married, but you knew that they fucked other people and they were cool with it. Weird, as in, I don't relate to it. Yes, you for lack of a better term, you, yeah, you can't but, judge. You should, that's like judging, I don't think like, it's weird it's in the not, grand scheme of things. Like, no. I don't think it's like, oh my god, that's like crazy. it's outside the norm. Like I don't understand. Like I, I get it. Yeah. I get why some people would like that would work for some people, especially in the beginning of a relationship where you're like, listen, I'm trying to, I'm you know, I want to try out being polyamorous or I feel like this and that. It's like I, you know, I get it. Well, that's why communication is more important than sex in a relationship. I think. Well, yeah. Because you're gonna have to, have to talk about that sooner mm-hmm. or later. You're gonna have to bring that to the table. And you also avoid the pitfalls of cheating on someone. I um I actually know somebody. <laughs> I actually know somebody who's a who's a swinger. You might think this is kind of different too. There's a swinger bar down the block. Yeah, you know it's it, right over here. Yeah. So um he he was yeah. like yeah you know I had some girl you know but she was on her period so my boy didn't want to fuck her so I couldn't fuck my boy's girlfriend and I'm like. The kind of problems you're like, dude. I- I'm, first of all, I'm like, I don't know why you came up to me to tell me this story. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I got videos like a true. I'm like, no, I'm good. But so that's a little freakish. Though. You're gonna allow, like, like you, you really want to go fuck your boy's girlfriend, like, Davino. When people and they go to sleep that night, you know, when you your girlfriend, no, yeah, you fuck my boy. You fuck my boy. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, but it's it's some people just think about sex in a different way they don't a a lot of it is ego where it's like no one can have sex with this person because they're mine Mm -hmm. and it starts to become like a weird like oh this is my property so no one can intrude on this and like that's all that is where it's like a very macho like yeah but that's prep that's premised on a, a mutual understanding oh of course but you know what, no, you know yeah, what but in that situation it's not that that it's not right if there if there's a mutual understanding of like we don't hold sex in such a high reg- not, right not a high regard but like a we don't think about it of a way of like it's i'm only here for you and you're all, yeah, 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 yeah you know it's kind of like i'm a free spirit and i'm gonna just live yeah. my life and Suck and fudge. I mean, there's got to be less arguments. I mean, like, there's no if there's no like cheating, you get to fuck whatever. Like, it's it, it's there's no arguments. Like, you can't look at other girls. Like, it, how, what do you argue about then? But I feel like I feel <laughs> Dude, there's tons no, of shit. You yeah, can argue. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much time you got? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I feel like some people get into those situations though, and they're like, you know, this isn't what it turned out to be for me. Yeah, and then you walk out of them. And then you, yeah, that, it's, of course that happens. You have to leave immediately. Well, yes, I I would think that no, you can't stick that out in a no. in a relationship like that where you're talking about fucking other people. You know, clearly you guys are very open with each other. Like yeah, if you're of course. able to have that conversation, right? So how hard is it to have the conversation of like I don't really like this anymore? All right, so let's think of it like this though. Okay, say like f- famous actors and actresses, right? Mm-hmm. They're they're significant others. That aren't say they're not famous, right? Would you stay with somebody for financial security, even though you knew like they were fucking like who God knows who? Me personally, no. I wouldn't either. But I get why mm-hmm. people do also because that happens. People are doing that today. People do that with yeah. not famous people. Well, yeah. like, well, yeah, but like, f- for instance, like an athlete, right? Yeah, you're on the road mm. for so long, and you're by yourself essentially, you know. There's no, like, whatever. I think, and this is just speculation. I don't know for certain, but I feel like basketball players have, well, basketball players, and like any 
football player or whoever. Athlete. Um, I feel like they have a conversation with their wife of being like, you know, actually, I do know of someone who has said this. I don't want to say who, uh, but they told me it's not fucking Mika, by the way. Yeah, you know, Jesus people are, Christ. Immediately, people are going to be like, Mika's single, people, all right? Yeah. He's not with anybody. But um, someone who, who I know who is a professional athlete who has a wife said that him and his wife have this understanding of when he's gone, he's he's gone. Wow. But when he's home, he's the husband, you know? Yeah. And when he's on the road, he is free to do whatever he wants. He's got the basically. best of both worlds. Well, I mean, it's just, it, I don't know. I mean, you know, someone has to be comfortable with having that conversation, obviously. They're married. When he's home, he's the husband, you know, whatever. Not really how most relationships work, I would say. But if it works for you, it works for you. Like, but, can't, I, but you can't get mad then if she fucks somebody else while you're on the road, or can you? Nope. Uh, that I don't know. See, that's see that's, but, that's but rough. If you're asking me, absolutely not. You cannot be mad at nope. that. No. Because if you're you, playing you a ball, I'm also going to play a ball. See, I feel like karma plays into that a little bit, though. Karma? Yeah. Why? Because like, if you're fucking everything on the road, your wife is horny, too. Yeah, but you have that agreement. Women are horny. No, 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 no. But the agreement is only about you going out and fucking. Like, yo, listen, mm-hmm. I bring home the bacon. Uh... I'm going to be out here in fucking New Orleans throwing this dick around. We play the Pelicans. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be fucking just so you know. We have this agreement. Yeah. I feel like if I was married and that was happening, I would fully believe that my wife was fucking somebody else too. But you would have to assume. You have to. You would just have to be okay with it. Yeah, I don't think I could be okay with it. But you could be okay with the... No. No. So then that's what, yeah, so then yeah, it wouldn't apply to you. Some people just don't do it because they naturally just don't want to cheat on their significant other. But Yeah, they're monogamous, yeah. which yeah. is fine. You you just, you're committed. Most but, people are. Yeah, but some people and, yeah. It's the status quo. It's the status quo. Are they filming fucking what Fast 8 the out there? What the fuck is going on? What <laughs> the fuck is going on out here? <laughs> I'll tell you. Hey, when people do, do, you believe in, do you believe in karma, though? Do I believe in karma? Yes and no. I think I do. I, I like the way that people talk about karma. It's like this fucking spiritual entity that like it'll get you. But I don't believe it in that sense. I believe in like there's a lot of people out there that are scumbags. Well, yeah. Well, I think that I think are doing just and, fine. And karma has not hit them yet. And I've yeah. seen that too. And I'm like, yo, well, one day karma's gonna get them. But I don't see. I so I don't believe in it like that. Like mm. I don't believe in like that thing. Right. But I just I believe in that if I'm a dick to you and you. <laughs> Then uh, that puts me at a disadvantage because I can't rely on you guys for anything. Then mm. you know, people who are just very self sufficient and they don't need anyone and they're successful on their own and like, you know, they're okay with being sort of isolated and not having good relationships and having bad relationships and burning bridges and they still, whatever. Those people are an anomaly to me. It's like you know, whatever. But if I'm a dick to a bunch of people, eventually those people like if they even have to help me aren't going to do as good of a job right or they don't want to help me or they're talk badly about me and then my reputation gets ruined and like that's where kind of karma plays into so you're saying you create your own karma almost yeah. like how you can create your own luck do you believe in luck uh not really i don't i don't no. believe in luck there's no luck for me i don't <laughs> <laughs> um do i believe in luck uh I think about it in the same way. As karma, right? Yeah, I think that you put yourself in a position to get lucky. And also, a lot. one of the main things with luck, because a lot of people are lucky. They just have no idea, I think. And I think that you're lucky if you're prepared when an opportunity comes your way. Like, if an opportunity comes your way and you just completely dominate that opportunity, then people are like, oh, this kid's so lucky. Like, fucking, uh, he was playing a, a pickup game and fucking Charles Barkley was there. And he yeah. filmed it and put it on his Instagram and now his kid's like, whatever. But it's like, I was prepared up until that point for something like that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. You make you make your own luck in that sense. And Yeah. That's kind of how Like I throwing think. enough shit at the wall that something will stick eventually. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't believe in like sitting around and like something happens for you out of thin air. No. You know? No. It just, it's just, you know. I also believe that just normal bad things happen. So like if you did something bad, like. It's, you're going to have a bad day sometime, you know? Yeah, not every day is perfect. Yeah, you're going to get hurt, you know? You might have to go... You know, things are going to happen in your life. Oh, yeah. So... I wouldn't consider that, like, bad luck. No, I would say spiritually, I, I believe in karma, though. 
you believe it's like this entity not an entity but spiritually like like i would it'd be hard for me to live with myself kind of yeah but that's you doing that that's not a karma doing that no but a lot of people when they do stuff they're afraid of one being getting caught and the repercussions you know what i'm saying no so like say like i steal this Mm -hmm. right do i am i gonna feel bad because i stole from you or am I, or am I afraid that I'm, I'm gonna get caught? I think it's, it's two different things. I don't think getting caught for a crime is karma. I think that's just how the law is. Yeah. No, no, no. But you know what I'm saying though? There's two ways to think about it. Like I would feel bad if I genuinely stole this. I, I think, and I feel like car. That's where I put karma, not in like in sense of like right or wrong. I would feel bad if I did this. So you think about karma from a selfish standpoint of like if I do something, it's going to affect me. Yes. Again. Yes. That might even be worse. Yeah, it could, it, 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 it could be. It's like, I'm going to steal this, and I feel bad, but not for the person I stole from. Yeah. But because this is going to affect me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't necessarily... <laughs> That's perfectly... perfectly yeah, smart. I don't believe in that. I think, no. I think if I steal... The way that I'm thinking, if I steal something and I get away with it, I don't think something bad's going to happen to me because I did that, if no one finds out. Right. You know? Yeah. But I also, like... I'm the type of person that if I stole something, I feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's for you saying. though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I scumbagged yeah. this guy. I don't think I've ever stolen anything. Oh, before. I've stolen tons of shit. Have you ever stole something and returned it? No, I've done that. Stole it and then returned it. Yeah. What? I stole like a bunch of candy from a store once, and then I felt really bad, and I went back and put it all back. I've stole so much candy yeah, and gave stole zero of it back. I stole a lot of candy as a kid. Yeah, you used too. to eat a lot of candy. Yeah, you and Keith. Remember when I used to steal all the time? You don't remember that? Dude, I used to steal from delis every time I walked into them. At least one thing, like a pack of gum or like a fucking lollipop. Were you, get, coming with were you getting off on that? I Joey think was, so. I think was, a part of you was. He was a badass. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Not as bad as like his parents thought I was like a fucking drug addict yeah. or some shit. My mom looked outside once and saw Joey smoking weed. Yeah. It wasn't me though. <laughs> Never smoked weed in your life? No. You ever smoked a cigarette in your life? What are you fucking nuts? I would smoke ten weeds. You smoke ten smoked. weeds. I've, yeah, I don't doubt that. Like I've had an edible smoked, before. Though. Yeah, I've smoked cigars and yeah. like hookahs and like yeah. pens and oh, shit. Hookahs. But like I've never just smoked it just because like to me it, it seemed like a lot of effort. Yeah. To smoke weed of like oh yo let's go cop some bud from like some shady dude and then fucking <laughs> some dude in a North Face crush it up and like <laughs> I don't know how to roll shit so I'm like I don't know to, like I gotta and it's just like bro I just go play basketball instead I feel I, like everyone that sold weed wore a North Face no matter the weather hell come on I've smoked weed and like yes. probably like tw- maybe like eight times and all bad times <laughs> I honestly <laughs> <laughs> all bad it's bad paranoid yeah it was just really bad like, I'm not writing uh, it off that I would never even that I would never do it either like I think I at mean, some point I think point, you'd be good on weed I think I'd be fine yeah I, which I, I think that eventually I will but like I never had the like like when the want comes and be like yeah you know what I'm gonna try this like so then I'll do it. Smoke a little weed. Yeah. I'm not illegal. one of those kids like, yo, dare program, dog. Like, nah. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like, I'm not doing that. But I just like, I just never had the urge to do it. What about this? Would you ever try that? Fuck no. You would never I'm try it? Terrifying. Hell no. Dude, you know how crazy, like, you know how much of a control freak I am. I would yeah. never do like hard drugs because I'd be afraid because like. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You on Schneef would be terrible. What yeah, I wouldn't do that. On cheese? <laughs> <laughs> on cheese? No, cocaine. Schneef. That's what I'm. That's cheese. Yeah. Do they call that cheese? I I've heard people say, "Yo, I got too much cheese." I've never heard that in my life. God, I've never heard that either. Yeah, but Schneef, I would never. I'm so scared of that shit. That. Mm. Nah, bro. We have a heart murmur, right? Yeah. Like I, I like the idea. I think I have one. That's the reason why I'm scared. I got an EKG done. They said I had a sinus arrhythmia. So I, uh, now I have to go get a stress test see if I have a fucking heart murmur. The yeah. main valve in my heart is leaking. Oh, here we go. I don't know about a contest. <laughs> 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 Who's got worse fucking problems? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nah. No, wait, hold on. I was in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What was your heart rate this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Did you check it? I do check it. Let's get let's both do it, EKGs right now. Oh Three God. minutes ago, it, it was 80. Oh, all right. You're good. That's yeah. terrible. No, it's fine. Your resting is 80? He's sitting up. What does that mean? A normal resting heart rate is between 60 and 100. There's nothing to worry about. No, I don't think there's anything to worry about, but I think 80 is high. No, it's not. Right now, it's 83. If you're like an athlete, because you made him nervous. 
78. It's dropping. It's dropping 78. Mine usually flirts around like 66. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you check it or you're guessing? No, I have that watch that I wear. Why doesn't my heart drop like that? Mine's dead. Mine sits around like 70, 75. 7, I don't know why my heart rate. Maybe I'm excited. Damn it. Now he's nah. in his head. It's going to be 120 in no time. No, I no. probably have high blood pressure. No, no you're you don't. Fine, dude. You're, good. you're good. You're good. You're good. Fine. You don't have the sinus arrhythmia. Whatever the fuck's going on over here? What the hell are we talking about? Sinus arrhythmia before? is nothing. It's benign. I don't know what it is. All right. You want to know something? Here we go. I'm going to tell you something about you. Yeah, I'm not. I, you know, here we go. You want to know what it is? You yeah. want to know what it is I'd about l- you? I'd love to hear this. Here you don't, you don't, you this don't is ca- going to go off the rails. I hope you're, I hope you're prepared. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. You don't care about other people's problems. There you Hands go. are folded. <laughs> no, he was going to say that. You <laughs> don't care about other people's problems. You can't even say that with a straight face. I, I, I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying it's to. It's not that I don't care about other people's problems. But... <laughs> Here it goes. When the contest starts. It's not a contest. We didn't compete at all. Also, on this kind of stage. Not the place. What do you mean? Not the place. To check your heart rate? No, to talk about, oh, well, yeah, you know, I got a science thing yeah, and I got a rhythm. Yeah, like, you got a murmur? Yeah, it might be too. What What happened with. <laughs> I love that voice. He does that yeah, voice yeah, when yeah. he puts it on in the face like, with the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. It's not that I don't care about other people's problems. That's fine. It's cool. You don't even believe that. I don't. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you something about you. Let me tell you, let me tell you something about you. It's all right, go up the rails. Let me oh. tell you what's wrong with you. All right, Danny. Danny brags about things mm-hmm. Keep going. that are wrong with him. Keep going. He does. How so? And you embellish some of it too. Keep going. I don't know. You just do. I want to hear it though. You want to hear it? What is it about? How you love telling people all that stuff? Like what though? Maybe it makes them feel better. But it's not about that. Why? Do you, how do you know? I don't know. I just you how know, do you know just, how I feel? Because I could just tell from being around you, I, and the way that you tell it to people, because they say something and then you one up them with yours. I don't think I do that at all. I just tell people I how I have relatively the, some type of the same things that they go through. That's not what I'm talking about. And you're trying. This is the only play that you have. I don't think so I'm like, playing I think at all. Talking about it like helps people. Like yes, I agree with that. And what you do as far as the whole anxiety depression thing is great. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about save, save themselves there. I'm talking no, no, yeah. no, because that's the truth. Because you were trying to bring me down with that little fucking comment, you son of a bitch. No, it wasn't. Yes, yeah, I was were. talking about real health stuff. I'm talking about in regular conversations when no one's looking. Keep going. And someone will say something. Okay. And they say I got this thing, and then you just start rattling off things. The reason I asked him is because I was going to ask him if he had to get a stress test done for his. <laughs> the only question I was going to still do. I go for stress tests. Rails. See? The rails. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> it's off the rails. That's all I wanted to know. It's a stress test. I'm telling you. They put me on a bike or a treadmill. Pick. Which one are you going to pick? Uh, well, last time I couldn't, but usually I pick the treadmill because I love to run. So I'm like, leave me you on. You are this. like a. Savage yeah. runner. I love yeah, I love to run. When you go to the gym uh, and you step on the treadmill, how far do you go? Uh well, like two miles. Two miles is like a solid amount of distance. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean I try to get to like two miles every time I run, you know, two or more. I'm happy. But if I hit two five. How long does that take you? Um, I try to get it on the like maybe like sometime definitely like eighteen minutes. You know, but I try to like if you running at like an eight point like Six, you could get that done in like fourteen. I think two miles in eighteen minutes is kind of trash. Well, isn't it ten miles? Ten, ten minutes a mile is like okay. No, no. I think like an eight minute mile is like okay. Yeah, like eight eight thirty. Yeah. No, no, actually, that's kind of fast. An eight minute mile is pretty fast. You know what? Eighteen is good. Yeah, I try. I take it back. Yeah, I think nine minute miles. I'm an overachiever. Oh you run God. a mile. You run a mile and a half. What, what's the what's the test you have to like to become a cop? The fitness test. You have to it's run nothing. It's, it's like a mile yeah, and a half in like easy. twelve minutes. Yeah. So like. Yeah. That is exactly. You're way it. you're way ahead of that pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Way, uh, I oh, run. No, on. no. You're like actually right on. Wait. You're on pace. You're on pace. Yeah. Eight minute miles. Yeah. You have to run at an eight speed to finish a mile and a half in twelve minutes. Yeah. Because I did it once for Dominic, well, and I was like, "Yo, you just gotta do it like this." Yeah. Should be able to do that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I gotta do the spot serve real quick. We're doing a mod video now, which, by the way, funny enough, sponsor is Quip. I said that it was gonna be a free one earlier. <laughs> it's not. We got paid for that one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Quip. Uh, but yeah, as you heard earlier in the show, this is my toothbrush. It's an electric toothbrush. 
comes in a little case. You could <laughs> suction cup it to your fucking uh, what's a what am I mirror mm-hmm. if you want. My family has them. I was surprised by that, but they must be using my code. Um, but yeah, it has a built-in two-minute timer. Starts vibrating every thirty seconds. It'll pulse. So it's like, dude, switch size. You know what I mean? Because honestly, I have no idea what the record. Mi- I didn't know it was two minutes that you, you were supposed to brush your teeth. Another question: Do you guys brush your tongue? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. No, weirdo. I never. I've never done that. I think that's where most of the stank comes from. But I would. Yeah. I feel like I would gag. I don't really have. I'd be like an awful. I gag. Uh, porn star. Moving forward. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, they have uh, brush heads that are automatically delivered on a des- dentist recommended schedule, which is every three months for just five dollars. Mm-hmm. Are you, you know, serious? You're all over this. Yes, five dollars. Wait, for the whole thing? No, no, hold on. I'm going to get to it. It's the refill packs are $5. I got to get on this. You got to get on this, okay? Um, but yeah, they start at just $25. $25 mm-hmm. And you can go to getquip.com slash basement to get your first refill pack free with the toothbrush. I'm gonna do okay, it. and then like I said, the, the new brush heads are delivered every three months for just $5. Love the thing. Love the thing. I'm gonna go look at it. I wanna. I wanna do it. And they're not too like thick. You know, like sometimes mm-hmm. you get a toothbrush and you're like, all right, this is kind of cool, mm-hmm. and it has like weird like rubber things. And then they also they get your gums and you're bleeding and you're spitting up blood into your yes. your sink like yeah, you're sp- like, spacers you're, like you do them. meth. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, the spacers. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, Quip, get your new toothbrush. New year, new toothbrush. As I always say, getquip.com slash basement. G e t q u i p dot com slash basement tell them i sent you okay your mouth will thank me later i'm gonna put this on the ground here i'm definitely gonna get one. Oh, jeez it's i've been big. wanting to try it for a while i haven't it, i haven't gotten around to no, it no there are super soft. is it them. big the brush or the no it's like nice and like thin no look, the toothbrush look, itself it's oh like, no it's like in a little thing. it looks like industrial though it looks like nice it's sleek i'll show you it's like a, yeah, it looks like a little like a yeah. thing it's, it's definitely nice. want to see it so yeah but quip is good i send people in the right direction on like some people nowadays, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, these yeah. two are, people are YouTubers, that they're doing like a sponsored ad, mm-hmm. whatever. I just I just watched both of the videos like recently because it's been like this thing that's like hot in the news or whatever, the YouTube news. And basically they're telling their subscribers who are like little girls, bro. You've come to meetups with me back in the day, mm-hmm. right? Back in the day when I had like a very young audience, uh, there was like these meetups that I, I would go to because they would pay me like $500 to go. And I was like... Yeah. Cake. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll go. And then it was like a meet and greet. And then I went to like three and I was like, I can't do this. My social anxiety is like through the roof here. Uh, it just made me feel very weird. But um, that was a humble brag. Did you guys catch that? A little bit. Yeah. It's all right. So anyway, <laughs> so these kids, their audience is like that age, right? So they, they have this new sponsor called like, it's like mystery boxes or some shit. And basically you go on the site and it's like a hundred dollar box. Like you have the opportunity to win something that's worth like twelve hundred dollars, but you also have the opportunity to win something that's like a sock. Wow. Yeah. So then you but you buy the box and you don't know what you get. So it's basically gambling. Yeah. Like somehow legal gambling. Yeah. That you were telling young viewers to do. To to participate in. That's terrible. What are you what are you thinking? I th- and most of these kids aren't spending their own money too, so they're convincing their parents. None to of buy- them. Why the fuck would they have money? Yeah, and they're convincing their parents to buy these things for them, which is even worse. And then when their parents find out that they don't get something cool, they're probably more pissed. Like, yo, that was a hundred bucks. I know. Terrible. Yeah. Wow. And they, they that's okay. They're gonna keep doing that. Well, they did like sponsors because uh, these these kids they have like millions of subscribers, mm-hmm. so these companies probably paid up for that. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll give you like. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Put it in your video, and the video is going to get, you know, two three million views or some shit. Do they get points? You think though, like a percentage of the boxes? Uh, I, 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 would I don't so. like doing stuff like that. Like if a company comes to me with an advertisement, they're like, "Oh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set you up with a code, and whatever you sell, I'll give you a percentage." I'm like, I don't want that. No, I want because a flat fee. Yeah. The, the actual sales are are much lower. You know, like, I don't want to have to bank on people being, like, in the mood to spend money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I'm, the brand awareness alone is still worth something. Yeah. Like, we're talking about it now. I'm not yeah. getting paid by the, the company. You know, but like, we're talking about it. So, like, their videos are doing the job. 
for for them, you know. See, that's like I think they got paid like a hundred thousand or something. They said probably. I mean, uh, here, here, listen. Would what, you would what, you what, throw it on the podcast for a hundred thousand dollars? What they're doing, what they're doing is, <laughs> what they're doing is fucked up. It's it's taking advantage of small children. Yeah, it's fucked up. And the only thing that makes it wrong is that realistically, they don't they don't need that a hundred thousand dollars. They could have got that from another company. Yeah, that's the thing that's fucked up. So like. It's just a, it's just money. It's, it's just money. They it, heard a hundred thousand and they jumped. That's it. They don't and, care. And it's like it's a situation where it'd be like, well, like, well, if you were put in that position to make a hundred thousand dollars, you you'd think about. I'd be like, yeah, I would think about it, but then I would know that like, child, I'm making children buy something that's a hundred dollars. It's I'm gambling thirty years too. old, and I and I think twice before I buy something that's a hundred dollars. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I usually buy it. But what I'm saying, not only that, but, but even, you know what I mean? but, but, but even, like, I still think like, oh, it's a hundred bucks. Even so, though, like at least if you spend a hundred dollars on something, you are getting something worth a hundred dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In this instance, you could get something that's worth one dollar. That's yes, that's the so other that's thing. technically like you're stealing from a child. But <laughs> that's what it is, what, and then you don't care. Yeah. What is what is coming out of this box that might be worth that much money? Well, they sell they have like sneakers or something, and who knows? Maybe these sneakers are like fake ones from China or something. That's true too. You and know, you like know. Yeah. you don't know if they're real. And this all is like predicated off like buying like dark web boxes. Like you ever seen those dark web? Boxes? Like there's these things called like dark web like mystery boxes <laughs> from like the dark internet. The what what's it called? Dark web. The dark web. Where you buy a mystery box, and they just send you a bunch of random shit in a box. I'm good. I would and never they have, spend they money have videos on of like unboxings on YouTube, where like people do them with like protective gloves and like hazmat suits on and wow. shit because they don't because they don't know what's in it. Yeah. Why the fuck would someone do that? For content. So that you know, so they're just like, yeah, I'm gonna buy this fucking dark web box, and then I'm gonna see what comes in it. Some there's a lot of weird shit in it most of the time. Like body parts? Not body parts, but like weird shit, like Barbies with like their heads cut off. Like it's like weird shit. Yeah, what I'm not paying fuck? for that. No, but people. I would never like the idea of a mystery box is so stupid to me. Of like, oh, you're gonna buy a box, you have no idea what's in it. Like, why would I buy that? Mm-hmm. All right, so say like he's right, or you, give me a theme. Say you could take a hundred thousand dollars, and there's a mystery box of an amount that's up to five million. We're on deal or no deal now. No, yeah. Are are you are you taking the deal or are you taking the box? Guaranteed a hundred thousand. I'm guaranteed a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Or you can open a box that could have up to five million dollars in it. Wait. Or it can have nothing in it. Wait, wait. What are you asking me? What? How much would I pay for this? No, 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 no. no. I'm just asking you, just like, uh, just a hypothetical. Uh, if, there's no risk involved. There's no risk involved. So you then, can, yeah, I would you do can it. either take the hundred thousand dollars. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Uh-huh. Or you go from zero to five million in one box. You could get a thousand dollars in that box. I'd probably take the I think I would take the, the five million one because you, your odds are in your favor. That's what I'm saying. There's way more millions. I think I would go for the hundred thousand. You would take the hundred thousand? Yeah, well the that's odds guaranteed. So what if you But the if, odds are in your favor. There's more numbers from a hundred thousand to five million than there is from zero to a hundred thousand. Well, no, but didn't you just say it's well the odds box are, is zero? To, to a, zero to five million. So I would go for the hundred thousand because that's guaranteed. You could open that box and bang thousand oh, dollars. Yeah. I would go for the hundred thousand. Oh. That's why when you said deal or no deal, I was like, yeah, basically. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, never mind. Oh yeah, I mean, I probably would. Like, I'm I'm not greedy, especially with game shows. I'm like, yo, if I'm this person, I have three hundred thousand dollars. I'm walking away. Yeah, anything over six figures, I'm taking it. Yeah, yeah, like give me a break. Yeah, I don't need to sit around and fucking make mistakes over here, dude. You know what I just noticed the other day? Like, I know we're we're talking about like YouTubers and like this like bullshit that they're doing. Like, this company is that shit crazy. Is, that shit is so fucked. I up. will go on record and say this, and I've never told anyone this, and I especially don't like to talk about like money on like platforms or whatever. But the reason why I'm saying this is because. I'm trying to back how, how like I'm telling the truth with being like this is fucked up, because there had there was a time where my YouTube channel was like super popping, right? And a company approached me, and they were like a video game whatever, and they're like, we want you to put this advertisement at around one minute in for from your video which i had never done before i always put them at the end right and which is like i did my video did my show whatever 
And then at the end, there'd be something I plugged for, for people, like blah, blah, blah. This company was very adamant about me putting it in the first minute. And a lot of people, like if you see their YouTube videos, sometimes they have that. Like people pay good money for that. Yeah, for it's sure. Like, it's technically like a mid-roll, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. with the podcast, like that's why they're in the middle. And people's retention rates are probably, you know, people yes. aren't going to sit around for exactly. 25 if minutes. Exactly. Yeah. If your video is 10 minutes long, give me the first minute so I know someone's going to see it. Yeah. So I'm getting more bang for my buck, whatever. And I was like, and they were offering me $75,000. I told them no. Because they wanted it in the first minute. I was like, I'm not doing that. Because that's not what I do. Right. Like, I put it at the end. And yeah. I told them, I was like, I'll take a huge pay cut for whatever if you want to put it at the end. And they were like, no, we want it in the first minute. So I was like, fuck off. I'm not doing it. Nice. That's so, but these kids have way, probably way more money than I had at the time. Yeah. And they did this to kids. The entire video is... De- I, in no... Ever... Would I ever do an entire video based around some random fucking product that like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I would even do that, like, for like a well-known product. It, it, it really, because it, it, like if, if it involved any type of mystery fucking bullshit, I'm not going to do that to people. Something like that. I don't give that. a shit if it's like Nike. If Nike was like, yo, you could get like these limited Jordans or like a fucking Nike headband. Like, I'm not going to do that to a kid. Yeah, it's fucked up. Like, pay $100 for a pair of Nike socks? Like, fuck out of here. You, you have to have... It's just trash. You, you have can't to, do that to somebody. You have to have some sort of, like, moral compass, dude. Because, like, otherwise, you would just say yes to everything, and that's what was selling your soul. Yeah. That is a perfect case of it. It's like, dude, it's 100 grand. And I understand, like, that's a lot of money, and that's life-changing money, but not for them. Because they're making tons of money That's every what month. I'm saying. They're making 100 grand, like, every month, probably. You know, they're bringing in millions of views every time they upload. Like, I'm telling you... They could be making 40, 50K just from that, the YouTube revenue, then sponsorships, then like Instagram stuff, and they then like need it. appearances. Like, right? dude, you, you, they, they make don't. a lot of money and you don't need that money. And it's like, you, now you are like, just, you know who your audience is, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the hardest thing for me to get over is that, you know, that seven to like 10 year olds, 12 year olds, whatever, are going to be asking their parents for this. And like, this is going to be all they want. And you're mm-hmm. going to be responsible for this. And you know what? When they open that box and see that they won like a pair of socks, they're probably going to be hype as fuck <laughs> still. You know what I'm saying? But sadly, at the end of the sadly, day, yeah. it's not right. Sadly, yeah. yeah. Like, that's Stumbo. the thing. Like, I don't even know, like, like, if, it, how's that even legal? I don't know. I don't think it is. Did they stop? No. I just don't see how that's legal, how you could sell somebody something that. Because you're. It technically you know what you're doing and it's not gambling. But it's a minor though. They don't care as long as they're getting views. Yeah. Yes, but it's not yeah. gambling, so it's not illegal. Yeah. Because you are paying for it's up a to service. them. It's up to them if they want to buy it or not. You know, like it's hey, listen. Yeah. Here it is. If you want it, it's a hundred bucks and I'm, they're behind it. It's bad. It's not good. And you know what? And you know, it honestly just makes me like it's so weird because now if you go on Instagram and you see all these people like trying to make it. Yo, they're doing the craziest shit and like so they're so extra and it's like bro like no one wants to be like talented anymore no. they just want to be viral yeah and it's like bro like you will literally light yourself on fire and have a, one of your boys kick you in the nuts mm-hmm. so that you hope world star posts you it's like yo how do you not like care can i can i say something about that when i was just in um disney with andrea we were walking we were holding hands and some kid came up to us and his little girl that was a friend was recording it and he tried to like you know like juke us and then like he like swag like came away and like maybe he shot a basketball and we didn't flinch but i was like yo he's probably gonna upload that video yeah i, was like, I should go break that little girl's phone yeah. <laughs> and andrew was like yeah but we didn't move he failed like you know we didn't like he wanted to like try and like say, oh my god and then like, yeah fucking no, jump away not but getting releases move. nothing we just kept walking and i was like yo i should have broke that girl's phone well that's a little extreme. but you can't go up to somebody and say give me your phone i want to see that video like you can't do that i don't think i think legally they're allowed to film you yeah 
I don't know. But either way, I just think it's like so stupid because the other day I was like, I literally was scrolling. It was like three videos in a row. The first one was this kid who was standing on a dock and he put on a helmet yeah. and then someone like kicked him in the balls and then he like chugged something yeah. and then his friend came out of nowhere, like pushed him into the water. He fell off the dock into the water and was screaming the whole time like he was in pain, but he wasn't just to make it more dramatic. Yeah. And then he said some other shit like, yo, 2019. You know what I'm saying? Little fucking whatever. And then, like, that was the video. And then you scroll, and the next one is that f- those fucking kids with their necks. Long necks. Long neck and wide neck and fucking no neck or whoever. Everyone, like, they, we are entertained by the length of necks now. It's just... The, girths, the girth of your neck is entertaining. And he has a million followers. Yeah. And listen, this is not a knock on him at all, dude. Like, it, make your fucking money. I am not mad at you in the slightest. I am confused by the amount of people that follow you, though. Yes. Because I don't really know what it is that I'm, like, interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, mean, I look at it like this, though. I don't want to say I have a good judge of where somebody's life is going to go. We're not going to know about this kid for that long. Well, I, I mean, I, I don't even know anymore. I was confident, like, a couple months ago in saying that, but I don't know. He's like a skeleton. He's a, he's just like I don't know like I don't know I don't know. It, he I he can't, has a I, tattoo that says on his chest that yeah. says "lick here" with an arrow pointing up. Which is like yo, I get like I get it, I get it. Why you did it? I'm just very different. Like how? I don't know, man. It's just it's really it's really strange. It makes me feel weird to see that because it's like now what that does is. It Jesus. sets the tone for the kids who want to do shit like that. Like, kids don't even... Like, if you ask a kid what they want to do, they just want to be famous. They don't say they want to be this, they want to be that. They just want to be known, mm-hmm. and they want yeah. people to have follow. They want to have followers and shit. It's like, I don't, they don't even care if they make money. I don't even care if I have money, bro. I just want enough to buy the Supreme bag so I can wear it in every video on my Instagram and get a bunch of followers. That's it's like, you don't even care about a career. No. Yep. And it's, well, it's just a, weird. It's going to get to that point where... I think it is starting to get to that point where only that's all kids care about right now. It's just that. Yeah. It's just that. It's so They'll do weird. anything, right? They, like, uh, they'll, they'll do whatever they want. They'll do whatever they want to get to that level where they want to be mm-hmm. famous. Yeah, it's honestly just like... <sighs> it's depressing. It, it's, just we- it's just weird. It's Yeah, and it's sort of depressing. It's depressing. It's depressing. So many sounds coming out of so this place. So many sounds. So many sounds. Uh, just to switch switch topics real quick before I forget, people are asking about you had a guinea pig. I have a chinchilla. That's what it is. A chinchilla. It's Do you want white. to hear the best part? About How this? much is a chinchilla? Oh my god. Do you want to hear the best part about this chinchilla? He didn't know what gender it was mm-hmm. until like six years. He had it. Mm-hmm. How long was it? Six years? Maybe three. Three years. And, and he was like, "Oh wait, it's a girl." I took it to the vet one day because she hurt herself. And I was like, yeah, her na- his name is Bowser. And she goes, yeah, mm, lifts it up. She goes, that ain't no boy. There's no balls down there. And I'm like, what? And she almost have balls? Yeah, yeah. Like hamsters too have balls. Yo, ha- if you have a hamster, I'm sorry. Wait, do they? No, they have a little pecker. Yeah, they do. They, they do. They got to have penises. Yeah. yeah. But, but she's a girl. Bowser. How how long did chinchillas live? Yo, 20 years, man. What? I've had mine for like... It has to be like 11 now. Wow. You bought a chinchilla because you thought it would be funny. Yeah. I thought it was like, whatever. You How know, much like, was it? Like, yo, with the cage or anything, it came like 800. Damn, son. Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I. Do you, what does it eat? I pellets and then treats. And then sometimes I'll cut an apple and I'll give it a little piece of an apple. Can you like hold it? Does you it like hang no- out with it? Yeah, it I, I could hold it in like a cloth because like she's when she gets scared, like her her fur just comes off. Like she starts like like it just it, it's like wait what they like shed? Yeah, on command. That's they, their defense not mechanism. Sh- and she also shits on command. Like when I'm holding her and she's scared, she'll just start shitting. Like you know, <laughs> little pellets will just start falling. I'm like, come on. She's kind of blind, and she has seizures. What is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. The Helen yeah. Keller of pets. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. She's all white. She's cool. She's all right. Wait, do you like hang out with it? Like, do you play with I it? I pet it. You don't pet it. I don't want to take it out anymore and let it run around because, like, it, it's weird. <laughs> it runs into things because it's partially blind. Fuck Full how speed. Long, how old is Bowser? Well, I've had her for, like, 10, 11 years. It's got to be older than that because when I got it, it was big. So, how, wait, how big are chinchillas? I don't like, know. 
like small rabbits. So, okay. so you have a chinchilla at your house right now. Yeah. I, I, you want me to bring it over? I would have brought it over. I don't want you to bring it over. That poor thing is 12 years old. Poor thing I don't is want your, your blind, deaf, automatically <laughs> shitting pet in here. It, it lives in a, it lives in a, <laughs> a rabbit cage. You know? Oh, my God. It's chilling. It's, it's like, oh, I don't want to let her out because she runs into things and she shits. I should she be, smells and her hair falls off. I should let her run around more, but I don't. Like, I she think you should put it down. She runs in circles. Because it's just a lot of things that you're saying. Is Can you put down a chinchilla? No. Probably. How I mean, is it? I'll just give I it think to you the just let, I think you just let a chinchilla. Point. I think you just let it die. How do they put... No, you do like the lethal injection. Oh, jeez. God, you're terrible. I'm not saying do it in it. Like, I'm saying the way you described it, it sounded like there was a lot of things wrong. No, what she's not in pain. Of life the doctor that? wanted me to give her seizure medication for her, the rest of she her has life. She seizures too? Yeah. So Sorry. I was like, how much is that going to cost me? It's See, a lot of money. Told you he doesn't care about chinchillas. This, this, dog needs, <laughs> this, this dog needs fucking edibles. Let me tell you something. I can one up this chinchilla, all right? Yeah, I'll tell you this right now. Oh, your chinchilla has seizures. I, I used to have seizures also. And like, I used to I was, think about having seizures all the time. Yeah, and I, I was yeah. in the hospital for eighteen months. <laughs> yeah, every day. I never. I didn't even have my phone. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll one up the shit out of that chinchilla. I'll tell you that right now. First of all, no, you won't. There, you rattle off like literally eight different things that that are like she's gonna just live with now. But she's not in pain. They said you can leave her off the medication. Nothing will happen to her. Wait, you it's know? on medication. No, too? no, no, no. Don't give it. I don't give it medication because it's like the medicine's a lot. Yeah. So dude. I'm like, I'm not paying for that every day, like every year, every month, whatever. But she's like, she's not in pain when she's having seizures. You know, so you just let it happen and then she'll go back to normal. If something is having, like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Repetitive seizures, you kill it. No, it's fine. When dogs start having seizures like that, you put them down. Well, I think like chinchillas are like known for it, so it's kind of like, known for. Seizures? Well, no, like they're but they're prone, they're to, prone them? to them. So like it just happens, and then they get up and they walk around like nothing ever happens. So it's just normal for. Yeah, so like it'll literally. People are gonna ruin dude. They're me. gonna kill yeah. you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> People gonna, are gonna <laughs> for the earlier thing with you, and then now the chinchilla. Like, no, but the it's a wrap for me. Let, let, let me go. Let, let, let me defend you a little bit here. All right, I want you guys to know. Just note, Danny just, is defending me because he knows how bad yeah, it's going to yeah. be. All right, so listen. The thing that we were talking about earlier, the thing that we were talking about earlier, uh, we've had that conversation off camera before, uh, so it's not. It's there's this mutual understanding there where there that, that's a long running joke between us. So don't attack him for that. The chinchilla, though, you could go all you want on Kill there. Kill him. I can't protect you from I'm, that. I'm ready what for all no, chinchilla. No, 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 no. I'm ready for all chinchilla heat, to be honest. Yeah. Chinchilla heat, I'm ready for it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yo, if, uh, I, if my no, chinchilla's no, blind and, like, running into shit and shedding at, on blind. command, shitting. Partially blind. And, 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 like, having seizures, like, what kind of quality of life is that? Partially blind. I want a pet that is, like, happy and, like... I wish it was happy. You know? Yeah, it you, is what it is. A lot, a, a lot of people hang on to their pets, though. My I, parents I, th- love I think it. I think we do it selfishly. Mm-hmm. Like, people will hold on to their pets, you know, like, take them to the vet mad times, and, like, stuff keeps coming back, and, like, but it's hard to put Dude, your animal down. I, I, I love my dog to death, but if it was having, like, seizures all the time like i would feel terrible sometimes, how often how often does sometimes it when i see it sometimes i can see two a day three a day that's gotta bum you out yeah i feel bad but it happens in seconds it takes like and she's back to normal God, again. i shouldn't have even brought this up i why yeah. you're making me sad yeah i know it's sad joe wants you to <laughs> i'm not gonna put it down my parents love it it's chilling <laughs> it's fine it's just out of nowhere it'll just you'll just start hearing like a whole bunch of wrestling and she's just Having a seizure, tails going crazy, dude. This is like, yeah. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing how Joe's just like. I mean, it's up to if it was up to me. Yeah, I, I put it down. But my, my parents love that thing. I, I, oh, oh my god, this is the saddest podcast ever. No, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel like, you know, what's going on in your chest over there? What? Oh, it's red. Yeah, why I are keep you scratching here too. What are you doing? Coke crack? Doing coke crack? Going coke crack? Coke crack? Everyone's gonna think you're an asshole now. Yeah, that's fine. Why? Because I want to kill a chinchilla that's fucking <laughs> blind and and like having seizures three a day. It's not in pain. <laughs> and I'm not saying brutally like throw it against the wall till it dies. I'm saying like take care of it. I've like, seen two in one hour once. Dude, that Seizure that is a problem. Bad, yeah. And I like. 
you know. I want it like whatever they people <laughs> say about these chinchillas. Maybe they know more about I, me. You know, I said it brutally to be funny, but it's like it's. I honestly do believe though that like an animal that is blind running into shit and fucking having three seizures a day is. It's on. not critically blind. Like you know, it'll just sit there and like it'll it'll jump and like do a twist and it's running into something. You know, Dude, like, you think I'm brutal. You see a horse. Gonna... A horse breaks a leg. They put a bullet. Oh, in they head. have to. Yeah, they have no choice. There's yeah. no healing. They can't levitate it. Like a deer gets hit by a car. It's on the side of the road. Blast it with a shotgun. That's what well, people do. Well, they say they say when if a deer runs out in the middle of the road, instead of you hitting the brakes and trying to swerve you and kill yourself, up. speed up and hit it. I mean, that's fucked up. But, but it, that's it's true because if you slow down, you're both gonna like get really hurt. Then again, I go hunting. So if you yeah. hit, <laughs> if if a, if a deer if you hit a deer with your car, mm-hmm. your car's done. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I know finish. it's I know it's fucked, but in your hunter. Can you keep that deer? Yeah, people do that. They keep the rack. If it's a huge rack, they'll take the, they'll saw the rack off, but they won't keep. You can't keep that deer. Like you ain't eating that. Mm. You're not gonna eat it. No, nope. but you can put a tag on it, right? Like, don't you get a certain amount of tags? No, th- you have per to. Year? Move, you have to. No, no, no. Like when you, you yeah, when you get your hunting um, permit. Yeah. But um, when you uh, I might have said that wrong. No, I didn't. But when you hit a deer, you're supposed to pull it to the side of the road. You could do whatever you want with that rack. Take it off if you want, but you can't take the deer and eat it. It's fucked uh, up. Oh, okay. All right. It's all fucked up. But you inside. could take. But you could take it. Yeah, it's rack. Wow. Yeah. I've seen people do that. They pull up like, yo, that's a sick rack. And they took it off and they'll mount it somewhere. Like, you know, I don't know if I could do that. I was just going to say, do you think you could hunt? Go hunting? No way. I could. Dude. I have, I could, I could, I I could do, I could do fishing. So you kill a fish. I'll I'll kill a fish. Fishing. Like, yeah, you're you're killing a fish. You're hunting. You're hunting. Okay. You're hunting. It's just called fishing. Hardest I don't know. Thing. I don't know. If, yeah. If I don't you could shoot a deer in the face. Oh, man. You don't, don't shoot don't, them in the face. No, right, right, I'm joking. All right. Relax, Rambo. <laughs> Where's a kill shot on? A neck? Yeah, like, like behind its front leg. Behind its front leg to, to get like, to like the lungs. The lungs yeah. yeah. When you're bow hunting and gun hunting, when you're gun hunting and you shoot it, it goes right down. But when if, you bow hunt, it's running. If I was if I was going to do any type of hunting, it would be bow hunting. It's cooler. Because here's why. I haven't gone in two years, but go ahead. I feel like... I have way too much margin for error if I have a, a gun on me. Easy. Well, yeah, dude. You you know what I'm saying? So it's like I'd rather if I hit you with this, I'm I'm lucky as fuck to hit you with this anyway. Dude, there's a lot of strategy, a lot of steps you have to go through when you get that deer. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, like I, I, don't, I I couldn't trust myself to just run in there and be like, oh, I got one. Yeah, but you would. I'm in a tree. I'm sitting in a tree for nine hours. <laughs> Fucking covering deep piss. Yeah, I just said deep piss. Deep piss. <laughs> Deer piss. Do people really put that on themselves? Hell yeah, it comes Hard in bottles. Ones do, yeah. That's weird. Joey uh, bought me a spray once. You yeah. spray it on the tree that. Like you would want to get your kill shot, so you'd spray it in the area, and the deer, the buck will come over and smell it. <laughs> Dead. You got- I think I could kill something, but I wouldn't be able to like cut its fucking horns off I and like open it up and eat it. Like I can't do that. I could. I'm ki- just like I'm a I'm a coward. Like I would just yeah. You know I I probably I no part of me is gonna go hunting one day. It's fun. You know, I would shoot like the clay shells, but I'm not going to shoot an animal. I would be But more... I think I could do it, but I definitely could not in any sort of way be like, how's it going? I wouldn't skin it. I would ask like the guys I go with to do it, but I'm not hunting. I'm not hunting for a sport. I'm hunting like I eat the deer, you know? Yeah. I'm not hunting just to kill. Yeah. The no. coyotes though. Yeah. We kill those. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. But there's like a surplus of them, right? No, we just leave them where they lie. No, 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 but I mean, like, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of them. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get the question. No, no, no. <laughs> no, there are, but if you see a coyote, <laughs> there's like they're new, like they're we'll an just actual. Leave nuisance. them where they lie. Where, <laughs> when you see a coyote, like you're guaranteed not to see deer unless you kill it. So, but yeah, there are a lot. Some pe- there are people who have them on their property. and They want you to kill them all. Could a coyote kill you? If they're in a pack of like thirteen, yeah. One on one with a coyote, you're they would, it? they're running away. They're not going to stay around. Are you killing it though? Yeah, bare hands. Hell yeah! It's like a rough dog. Like it's the size of a dog, a coyote kind of. How do you kill a dog? Like you, it's like it doesn't. It you looks choke like it a, out. It looks like a Just dog, it, but guess? it's it's like you remember Sirius Black when he turned into that to that ugly dog. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. what a coyote kind of looks like. <laughs> That's also one of the worst names of character. Of all time. <laughs> Sirius Black. I love it. When I first heard I first went to, I was like, what rapper is that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, they got like fucking Hogwarts rappers. I was like, what the fuck is all this shit? Yeah, man. I just remember just being like, yo, 
like a buddy of mine used to go like hunting with his dad and he invited me to go one time and, and like I made up like reasons to not go. I, I, I was like, yeah, go. I was like, yeah, nah, like I have some stuff to like do with my mom it had nothing to do with my mom. I, I just didn't want to be put in a situation where they were like, kill it. Where, when, if you respect nature, like you would love to go hunting just to see like, yo, this is like the sun coming up. Cause I'm in my tree stand when it's pitch black and then the sun comes up. What time do you get out there? We wake up at like 4.30 and we're probably in the tree by like 5.15. Fuck. Yeah. And then I'm walking up to the tree stand in pitch black. Is you know? Are there rules on like how many times you could shoot at a deer? No. If you had like a lever action, you were gun hunting, you could... Damn. Yeah. If you miss, you got to keep going. But when you hit it, stop. Do you Don't tra- shoot. If you shoot it once, you track it. Well, with a bow you do, you have to track it because after you shoot it, it'll run like 40 yards. But... Uh, what you call it, and then you might not kill it that with a bow and arrow. Like, yeah. Then you have to get down and then stand over it and stab it. You have to stand over it and stab it. Oh, I thought you wanted me to stop talking. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> you, no, you have to stand over it. And oh, like, you thought I was like, dude, don't say yeah. that. Oh, you draw, <laughs> you draw another bow and do it. Yeah, you have to draw another arrow. And Damn, that's, that's barbaric. That, yeah, that's... I, I've never done that, but the people I go with, I heard them do it, and they're like, "Yeah, you have to," because you hear it screaming. You don't want it to suffer. Oh, uh, you, you know what? Hear them scream. It's yeah. ter- you ever see that bear eat that deer in the backyard? I take it back. I can't kill an animal. That's what I'm saying, dude. I couldn't do it. But we don't shoot doe. Actually, there's a couple animals I could kill. We don't shoot doe, and we don't shoot baby deer. We no. shoot buck, men, like male deer. Like, yeah. that's it. Big dogs. Yeah, and the best is during the rut. Guys are humanitarian because <laughs> during the rut they're horny as fuck. So if you see a doe come out you're guaranteed like a monster 90 percent chance you're gonna see a monster buck come from behind it he's gonna be huffing and puffing he's gonna try and fuck and guess what bang dead jesus <laughs> see i couldn't do it i couldn't it's do fucked it up. yeah it is fucked up you know how sad it is watching like planet earth and you're like oh my god that fucking that that giraffe dude i watched a video of a giraffe running away from lions mm. i was like oh my god go 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 yeah you wanted it to run but then they show the lion like five minutes later and the lion's like this lion is starving and hasn't eaten in eight weeks. And you're like, fuck, I wish you would have killed that giraffe. It just makes you like so. But like shooting a lion, you don't need to shoot a lion. They're no. endangered, aren't they? Yeah. Dude, there's no reason to shoot lions. Just so like, you could tell your friend you killed a lion. If you shoot a lion, you should be killed. I have no problem with people hunting for food. But you're not hunting lions for food. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't agree you with that at all. It's like, trophy hunting. Like, the I, trophy hunting, I, I don't like. Like, no. killing, like, a, a fucking giraffe? Or like, an what, elephant? What are we doing with that? Like, cutting its tusk off? Like, yeah, like, you yo, said what an are you elk? doing? People go elk. An elephant. No, an elephant. Oh, an elephant? No, not happening. An elk, I get. Yeah, a lot of people If you're If you're going to eat it, I understand. You know what I mean? Because that's, yeah. that's part of... But that's life. That's you, the circle of life. You're not eating a lion. Like, I went to Thirsty Koala, and I had a kangaroo burger. Yeah. I was, I felt terrible. I was like, what are you killing the kangaroo for? Yeah. There's no need. See, I didn't even know that you could eat a kangaroo. Yeah, you can eat kangaroo. Yeah, it's spongy. Yo, bison? Very good. Bison's great. Oh, lamb? Yeah. Wild boar. Maybe my favorite meat. Wild lamb? boar. Lamb. Lamb, huh. lamb is amazing. You're Actually, at, no, it's probably bison. You ever but lamb's really good. Who? Crocodile? No, where no. the fuck am I going to have Why? that? Steve? I've never been there. I had, I had crocodile. I'll go down there for yeah. an LSU game. You should go. I wanted to. Was it good? I said I want to. No, I meant the crocodile. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It tastes like chicken, kind of. Everything. It was does. more like gamey. Like- it's more gamey for sure. It's definitely more gamey. But like, if I told you it wasn't a crocodile, you just you wouldn't be like, this is different. Is this it, is really really. Is different. it actually good to the point where you're like, I'd re- I'd choose this over some stuff, or or it's like it's good for the story. I had an alligator po boy, and I only ate it for the story. Right. Like if it was available up here. I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. What's right. it look like? The color? White. It's, it's white. It's white. It's regular meat. It's okay. just like, you know, but like they deep fry it. Like it, it, it came out looking like, like calamari, really. Mm. All right. Like they, they deep fry it and like put it on a little sandwich. It was, we, I mean, it was good. But. We ate bull, bull testicles in Colorado. Remember? I didn't eat that shit. Oh, Rocky either. Mountain oysters? I took a yeah. bite. I took a bite. How big were they? They slice them. Yeah, so they cut them. Like they were meat. like, they look like, like. Slices like that. They look like little bread Damn, zucchini. Big ass yeah, balls. Yeah, they were that. huge. I would eat stuff like that if I wasn't on vacation. They have hunters that go out and just castrate boars. Yeah. And like, and they'll release them out into the wild. Like, they'll trap them, cut their balls off, and just yeah. let them go. I don't know why. I've seen a video no. of a lion 
eat, um, attacking a, I forgot what it was. It wasn't a gazelle because they're fucking lightning. And he went right for the balls. And, and ate its balls? Yeah, he ripped them right off. And like you see. Yeah, my balls just flinch yeah. hard. Yeah. Dylan sent me that video and I was like, yo, that sucks. Yo, I really just got chills in my nuts. It was a big bull looking thing. And the line just. <laughs> That's the weird thing is that, I mean, there are some sick fucks that eat other people but like we're the only like i feel like a lion will you know eat another lion i don't think, I don't so. think so i think they would no i think you're dumb i don't think so you know there's gonna be a lot of new characters in the new lion king right what yeah when i was in disney i saw stuffed animals for the long <laughs> transition they had, they, oh, had, just they, had the, they, they had the pre-drop they, I want to see if lions eat other There's lions. new lion, animal lions in that movie. New characters? Whatever. There's new characters. Well, they have like a, a crazy cast. Like yeah. There's like Beyonce's in it, mm-hmm. Seth Rogen, uh, Billy Eichner, uh, James Earl Jones. Some Who the fuck else is in that movie? Are you Googling if lions eat lions? Yeah, I just want to know for myself. And that guy that 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 guy that did Mufasa's voice is in it just till he dies. That's James Earl Jones. But Damn it. uh <laughs> I bet you a hundred bucks they don't kill Mufasa in that movie. He somehow just walks out. Cause nah. today millennials can't handle that shit. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Dude, isn't it crazy how animals are like so ruthless and that's like oh your kid has a fucked up leg? Let's just fucking leave them. I know. It's wild. Like, like well, as humans, if someone yeah. has a problem, we usually like take good care of it. And we have people who like, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But in the wild, like if you got a broken leg, they're like, fuck you, dude. We got to get across this grassland to eat. I know. <laughs> you know? But like. Just leave it. But they know that they're leaving their kid, yeah. though. Yeah, they don't give a fuck, though. I think cats I, are I the think same I, way, bro. I think they do. Cats. Cats. Cats, cats, cats are terrible. Cats have kids and leave their kids. Like when they're all right, you guys, could, all right, you're good. I'm a whore now. And like birds, they're just like get the fuck out of the nest. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. And a lot of birds like die. Yeah. They like hit the yep. floor. What about don't... sea turtles? They're born and have to run for their lives immediately. Yeah. Word. Because they get eaten, and their parents don't come back to protect them. No, they're just born, yeah. and they're like, oh my god, I have to make a mad dash for the fucking water. You know how like upset I would be if I if I saw turtles running down into the water. I'm fucking up every seagull, anything oh. in its path. I'm grabbing it by its neck. Yeah. Everything. Or I'm just gonna pick the turtle up and put it in the water. I'll punch a bird. Yeah, yeah. But then what happens I mean, I when they get in the water? I was ready to kill that water? chinchilla. I could definitely punch a bird. Yeah, so. easily. <laughs> but what, what happens when the turtle gets into the water? It's, They're it's good. Gonna, it's gonna get s- eaten by a fish. No, nah, but no, like no, no, no. They got, or they, a bigger turtle. They they have a much better <sighs> chance chance to live yeah. there because naturally they they know the, they know how to survive in water more Man. than they do on land. They're the fastest they'll ever be when they're running into that water. Yeah, and they'll never be fast again. Turtles are slow. It's kind of crazy how turtles can live to be like 130 years mm-hmm. old. Yeah. That's Sharks crazy. too, no? Maybe. Mm. 100. Imagine you had a turtle. There's turtles that are like older than our parents. Yeah. Why can't we have their gene? I don't know. If I, I want to be 130. If you could be 130 and still like live. Walk up the stairs. Like, like, still what be kind like of a, shape would you be in at 130? Dude? Not great, but like, say your brain was still all there, and like you could walk, but you're really slow. Yeah, you would do it. I don't know, because then you could like hold up a sign and like get invited to like your first like football Super Bowl or, or go something. Go like the White House dinner. Yeah, isn't that weird? How you reach a certain age and they just let you do stuff? Yeah, you're like 130 <laughs> years old, and they're like, you know what? Let's invite him to the White House correspondence dinner and, uh, you know, let him do this interview with fucking... Do speech. Uh, sleep in the Lincoln room. Yeah, go talk to Larry King. They'll just be like, 108-year-old uh, George Johnson's over there. And he's just like... Hello. So fucking old. <laughs> like, when does he get old, they just let you do whatever you want. Yeah, I guess so. That just makes no sense. You shit in your pants. <laughs> like, is it an accompl... I guess, is it an accomplishment to live to 100 years old? Yeah, yeah, it is, dude. People don't make it there. Well, yeah. what? So then, I guess that maybe the treatment is is worthy. Then was the lady on Oprah or or what talk show was she on? She was over a hundred. I think she was a hundred and one. She was dancing. She was chilling. She was a weird breed. Good for her. Yeah, I love when you, they interview those people. Like in Italy, there's like mm-hmm. a bunch of women that are like a thousand years old. And like, how'd you do it? And she's like, I've just been drinking like a yeah. lot of red wine and fucking smoking cigarettes. So my grandfather lived to be ninety four, and his he said. It was because I had ice cream every night before I went to bed. Some people are just like, 
You iron, know what it is? iron people. Yeah, but I think I don't think anyone. I, I I don't know. I feel like nowadays. I mean, this is like a whole other not conspiracy, but it's just a whole other conversation that I feel like the food that we eat is fucking laced with oh, carcinogens. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's no way any of us make it to a hundred unless we drastically go out of our way to eat organic. And like that's why people who live in like Italy and all these countries where they grow their own shit and they're like. You know, Fine. self-sustaining, like you know what I mean. Like, see, they're eating it from the ground, see, so it's I, like there's not processed things. in But there. also, like, it can, it can it can go two ways though. Like, it could be like with medical advances in like the next fifty years, like the first person to to live like one hundred and twenty five years probably has been born already. Mm-hmm. What? Like, who's the oldest person ever? Probably like one hundred and eight or something. I don't know. Maybe. I think with modern science, like I think the first person to be able to live to 125 has been born. I don't think the government wants that. They want us dead. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't want like you know how China's overpopulated? Yeah. They don't want that. Yeah, but we don't have a billion people. No, but they don't want to ever get to that point. So why start? You know? Start moving people to Montana and shit. There's not a lot of people over there, right? Yeah, that's true. Wyoming. Imagine you oh. lived in Montana. That'd be awful. If you're an organ donor, you're fucked. Like, you know, that's funny that you say that. I I switched from being an organ donor. Yep. I was an organ donor, and then I stopped. Tell them why, because I told them why once, and no one believed me. Because when they pull it and they see that you're an organ donor, they don't resuscitate you. It's an automatic DNR. It's an automatic DNR. I don't believe that. It is. It's not like to the point like they're not they're not going to work on you. I'm so happy you're saying this because during Secret Santa. All of them told me I was an idiot. Listen, because I said exactly. What they're not you just going to be like, "All right, he's breathing a little bit, like he's gone." But once you're gone, you're gone. They're going to go into other like shit. They let well, you yeah. Go. Once you die, you die. No, you could be brought back to life. Right, but, but what won't. are the chances on that happening? If those chances are very under, high, sometimes not very. No, first of all, it can't be <laughs> sometimes. Very <laughs> high sometimes. <laughs> it either works or it doesn't. If that they're, chance, not, they're not. They're not going to work on you that stops, much. Yeah. If someone's heart stops. And there's like a less than 10% chance that we can bring them back to life. I get it. Or save like five lives, maybe. Yeah. You know? The trade off is, you know. And I think when you sign up to be an organ donor, that's part of it. And I, I understand that. But you made it seem like that you get into a car accident mm-hmm. and you're still breathing. And no, like, no, no. See, where the fuck does he come up with <laughs> we're gonna this? Wait shit? This, we're going to wait this one out. No. I'm just going to give it like three weeks. I said if you're an organ donor, like if you're critical, yeah, they let you die. No, if you are alive, they cannot kill you. Listen, I if you're critical, that means you're alive. All right, they they're not going to try and help you as much. That's against the law. They're murdering you. No, I didn't say something like that. Yes, Listen, you did. I said, that's exactly what you said. Don't be you an said, organ donor because they won't bring you back to life. That's it. No, you said if you're critical, they will not... Joey, you could get into an, a car accident. Your body's perfectly fine. You stop breathing. They could bring you back to life, and they won't. They, 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 could, do that. they could do that because you're an organ donor. They'll pull out, oh, this guy's so-and-so. Don't give him CPR. I don't, I don't agree with that. That's, that's what happens when you're I find it donor. hard to believe that that's the case. That's it? No. They, I believe that if they, they're, they're, if they work on you and, you and your heart ends up stopping, then they take their hands off. Yeah, they're going to work... They're, they're, but they're, they're not, gonna they're not just going to be you. like... Like, oh, kind of. No. Maybe help them. No. If you have a heart attack and your heart stops and you're on the floor, they won't reset. Re- Resuscitate. Thank you. you. But, but, but. Your heart's not stopped. They'll, you're they'll, dead. If they'll, your tr- stopped. they'll try. They'll try. Quote, unquote. But. My dad has they'll, a. They'll uh, do a wallet biopsy and see that and mm-hmm. be like, uh. My dad has a. What do you call that thing? Here? Let me ask you a question to end the show. It's very morbid. Go. How many children. pretty morbid episode there we go ready to save your mom would i kill would you kill a kid to save your mom yeah of course how many kids oh now you're getting crazy i just want to know like how do i how do i kill it i don't think you don't have to kill it you just know that you made the decision oh oh so like they'll just like thanos like no 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 they'll get shot dope way to say it they'll get shot but you won't like you won't see it, but you'll hear it in the next room. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, damn. My mom thought, wouldn't want I thought want it was going to be like Thanos shit. Like no, that they, they disappear. Disappear. No. Like, if it was on the news and they were like, yo, uh, 10 kids are dead. Uh, uh, I'd be no, like, it's oh, not on the news. 
It's just in your mind. Like, I wouldn't. My mom wouldn't want me to kill a kid. Wait, you and said I in know. the next room and now in your mind. No, no, no. I'm saying like it wouldn't be on the news that like, oh, Danny did this thing. They're in the, the, only, they're in the room with you. They go, listen, we're going to kill 16 kids. 16 is a lot. Keep I'm not your saying mother alive. 16 kids. All right. Are you ready for that? Yes or no? And then you just hear gunshots. In I'll the be honest room. with I'll be honest with you. My mom would probably be mad at me. If I yeah, my mom yeah, would too. Like too. My mom would be like, I lived, I lived my life. Like these, these, are, these, these are, are children. children. <laughs> Cause then I really think about it too, though. Like, this is fucking morbid too. But if you were in a situation where somebody was like actively shooting and you could save 13 kids lives, but you got to die, what are you going to do? That's yeah, anxiety at its finest. I, I got to be think honest. About, I don't want to. You're going to think about how you could save everybody at first, but sometimes you're not. Uh, I like to think that I like to think it too, but I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. A part of me feels like in, in panic moments, I'm, I'm not thinking about myself, which I'm scared about. But I think that in panic moments, in the small amount of panic moments that I've had, it's always just like, how do I, you know, get out of here? Not, not like me. It's more so like I need to do something. Your fight or f- fight or flight. Yeah, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'm like, you know. Well, in that in that type of situation, if that is to happen, you're going to flight. No one's gonna fight. Here's a what I'll say: like, if I'm behind a car and there's an active shooter and a child walks out into the street. I'm not going to like run out there and save this kid, but... I'll floor it and run that guy over, though. No, no, I'm saying if you're out, you're just on the street. Oh, oh, and he's like, you can't see him. No, you can... But like you're hiding behind a car because you know there's oh, an active shooter. I thought you said you were in a car. And all of a sudden you peek over and there's a kid walking out into the street and the guy's like pointing his gun at him. I'm not going to run after the kid and whatever. Like run I'm not that kind of hero, but at the same time, if I'm walking and... Or like right now, if this whole building caught fire and I got out, as soon as I got to the sidewalk, I noticed you guys weren't behind me. I'm going in. Yes. Yeah. Like, without a yeah. doubt. It's like, I'm yeah. not going to be like, oh, right. fuck. Like, I hope they get Now, like, both I'm of us there. are passed out. No. Yeah, but that's well, like. That's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> when, when my parents' apartment building, like, burned down, uh, I saw, the, like, the fire start in the building, and, like, I cleared the whole building just telling people to get out, like, just banging on their doors. And, like. Wow. Yeah, but it wasn't a big apartment building. It was it was three floor. It was like five, six units. But everybody got out. Everybody got out. Oh, so you're like a hero. Not really. I mean, it wasn't to the point where he like wasn't throwing people out the window. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I was no, a, but I was a trampoline. You told him get out. There's a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have just ran and just stayed outside. And then the guy that started the fire, I was like, dude, get out. And he was like, I gotta grab my things. I was like, get out. I was like, look at the whole fucking back of the the apartment building was on fire. Holy. And he was like, all right, I'm just getting my things. I was like, dude, get the fuck out. And then I just wanted to make sure, like, like the cat got out, made sure my niece got out, my dad got out. And then my uh, cousin was upstairs. He was listening to music. I was fucking kicking his door, like, making sure that he got out. Um, Did the building burn down? The whole backside of the apartments, that burned down. And they had to, they had to rebuild the entire building. Jesus. Yeah. The building was ugly before. It's even uglier now. <laughs> it's lit. It is wow. an eyesore. Yeah. And then what happened was after that, we were all out on the street and I saw the kid that started the fire. I wanted to kill him. Why did he start the fire? He, he, they, they, just, <laughs> they just put brand, they just laid brand new tar on the back of the building. All right. And there's a little porch there. This kid took a cigarette, threw it. Oh. This is just fired tar. So that shit is flammable as yep. shit. So he threw it, set the whole fucking un- uh, back uh, porch area on fire. Dumb fuck. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck that is, but we can wrap this yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Davino, where can they find you? Uh, Aunt Vino, A N T V I N O. Everything. Oh, I like Danny? that. Danny, you like that? At Danny Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter. And guys, please take it easy on Joe this week. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can follow the show at the basement yard on everything go go support uh the show with the patreon patreon.com slash basement yard that is all see you guys next time Peace.